All right, here we go. Uh, Jeff Stacy, the interrogation. It's time for this to get started, so let's do it. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not quite sure how this is going to go, though. You know, this is the first time I'm doing one of these over an interrogation. So this might be a dry run for when we do, in my opinion, the best interrogation of them all, which is Kenneth Brinkman, Jungle Mania. Uh, so I'm going to take some notes, see how what goes right, what goes wrong with this, and hopefully get the Kenneth Brinkman one uh, as perfect as it can be. But, yeah, here we go. We're going to take a look at the arrest first. It's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, Jeff. Jeff got himself. Jeff got himself into too much trouble than he could, than he could handle. Right? He he he. Not a bad person. This is probably the first bad thing he's done in his entire life, and he he got himself into too much trouble here. And uh, he's going to have a meltdown, as you'll see. He's going to have a meltdown. It's, it's quite funny. Can you hear me? Yeah. What's your name? Yeah. Jeff? <laughs> Jeff? How old are you, Jeff? <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> You're 29? I love it when they do that, man. When they pull him up like that, he just looks. Well, first of all, he looks like a fucking. It looks like a pig. It looks like a pig, right? He looks kind of looks like a pig. <laughs> when they roll him up, it's like he's like, a, like they're about to roast them, which they are about to do, technically. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. You think? You think? How old are you? Okay. He's not 25. See, I don't know why he's lying to the police at this point. It doesn't. You're already fucked. And you're, but you're gonna lie about your age. He's like, oh, 25. I think it's like Malik Washington who said, oh, I'm I'm 17. I was born in 85. I think 85. I mean, you would know what your fucking age is, right, Jeff? Come on. I think. Give me a break. Are you under the influence of any drugs, alcohol, or medications? Are you uh, have any mental disabilities to prevent you from understanding what's going on here? I have epilepsy. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? <laughs> okay. So he asks um, Jeff Stacy, "Do you have any mental issues that would prevent you from not understanding what's going on here?" Jeff Stacy begins to say, "I have epilepsy and cerebral palsy," but then this this fucking bloke right here just completely cuts him off. <laughs> So it's never made clear to anyone that Jeff Stacy has those issues. And, you know, Jeff Stacy obviously, I mean, if you couldn't tell from earlier, you know, from his, in, in ter from his confrontation in the house, that he's clearly got something wrong with him. I mean, it's kind of, kind of obvious. But if it wasn't obvious before, now you know. And there is his car, the Grand, the Grand Am. Someone told me that it was the uh, Grand, not the Grand Prix, but the Grand Am. I believe that's what it was. I'm going to read you your rights. If you have any questions, you, uh, you tell <laughs> me, okay? Sags. You'll see his head sags right there. He does the, you'll see him do that multiple times in his interrogation where his head does the dramatic head sag. <laughs> you have the right to remain silent. Do you understand that? Yes. Anything you say can be used against you in a court. Do you understand that? Yes. And just one thing I want to point out. These Ohio cops are, are maybe the worst cops in the entire show. Except for the Murphy cops. They are very unprofessional. Like, this guy's reading the Miranda rights off of a fucking index card. Like, it's it's not like it's a, some super long statement that you can't memorize. You know, it feels like every cop, before you graduate cop school, you should fucking be able to have that memorized. <laughs> it's just, they, they are pretty unprofessional, but it, it leads to some hilarious moments, I will say that. It leads to a lot of funny moments. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have a lawyer present with you while you're being questioned if you wish. Do you understand you that? understand that. If you can't afford a, to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed before any questioning if you wish. Do you understand that? Yes. You can decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present if you want. <laughs> okay. You will still have the right to stop answering questions anytime. All you have to do is tell us. Do you understand that? Yes. You have any questions about the rights I just read to you? No. Okay. Go. Go. Look, there it is. <laughs> there 
anything in your pockets to kind of poke or stick, stick me? Pens. Pens? Did he say pens? We'll talk about it, okay? <laughs> pens! Wait a second! Pens! <laughs> oh, it's like the light bulb just went off in my head. Pens! Oh, Jeff Stacy's carrying pens that might stab somebody? Oh, shit. And there he goes. Just wish she'll shoot me. <laughs> oh, you know what? I don't think I heard it when they were doing it. Um, didn't he ask the cop when he first got arrested, "Can I just be shot?" I don't. I don't think I must have missed that before that. Oh, this is interesting. Can I just be shot? I'll ask that multiple times. And here we go. The first dramatic head sag. Heads up. That's why that chair is back in the <laughs> Jeff, I'm not uh, uh, Yeah, he is so upset right now. And it's, and they like, again, these hick cops, heads up, and then slide the chair all the way back. As if that's going to stop a potential criminal, or a criminal, I guess, from getting up and attacking the cops. Yeah, oh, we're just going to make you slide the chair all the way back to the wall. Um... I mean, it's like, it's half-assed measures like that, you know? Green from the Dark County Sheriff's Department. Dark County. So I, I was actually incorrect. I said that he was from, uh, that this was Warren County. He's from Warren County, but this thing took place in Dark County. I'm not sure how far Dark County is from Warren County. Deputy Tom I just wanted to clarify myself. False. Okay. I'm going to ask you a few questions. Is that all right? Okay. It's okay. okay. Jeff Stacy, man. No, no, now, you know, at least he was a little bit confident in the Sting House. At least he wasn't, he was a little bit more assertive. Not assertive, but he was, had some conviction behind his words. He doesn't have any of that now. It's completely gone. And, yeah, he is. <laughs> slow this set into madness here. And it's a pretty simple interrogation. They get the confession nice and early. And the rest of it is just hodgepodge, winding, you know. State your full name, please. Jeffrey Douglas Stacy. Jeffrey Douglas Stacy. Last name again? Stacy. Stacy? S T A C Y? Yes. <laughs> What's your social security number? Uh? Yeah. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! They didn't blur this out? What the fuck? I, I, don't, I don't think I've seen it where it wasn't blurred out before. I know that it was... I've, actually, I've seen it a couple different times. I think this is the first time I'm watching um, Joey, Joey Jeremiah's, JJ's version of this. So, I was... I, I think I've only ever seen when that was blurred out. Um, I, I can't believe that they, no one blurred that out. I mean, that's not Joey's fault. I think he's just re-uploading the footage. But someone should have blurred that out during the original, like, broadcast of this. Holy hell. Okay. You can go, if you want to open up a line of credit, I guess, in Jeff Stacy's name, you could do it if you wanted to. What's your address, Jeff? 1320 Stubbs Mill Road. I, don't th I think it's the first time I've heard this address, also. Yes. I'm not going to look it up. I don't have an internet open right now, other than this one, so I'm not going to look it up. What's your date of birth? 3879. Are you under the influence of any drugs or alcohol tonight? No. No? What's the highest grade of school you? So, I mean, they keep asking that because it sounds because, like you have to be on some kind of drugs to sound like that. <laughs> That's why they, I think they're still completely shocked that he's not because it sounds like he fucking is. But if you ever read or read the fake, I believe it's fake, Jeff Stacy Q&A that was on the Temple of Teacap, uh, this was back in late 2018. Uh, the, a fake Jeff Stacy came on and did a Q&A. I'm like 99% sure it was fake. 
And he said he claimed that he was high at the time from weed with his drunky friends. But I think that's bullshit. <laughs> Pretty sure that's you bullshit. Finished college. College? How far in college did you go? Two-year technical school. <laughs> and he got, gives like a nice glare right there. Did you see that? All right. I guess the first question is, why did you come to the, to the house at 67 uh, 5K Avenue tonight? To see a girl. <laughs> What's your screen name? Single Texas guy. <laughs> is that all? <laughs> you think it is? What a fucking asshole, man! You know that. We know the whole thing. He just didn't want to put the for fun at the end. Single Texas guy. Uh, that's not the. That's not the whole thing. It's single Texas guy for fun, and that doesn't make any sense either. Why is his fucking name single Texas guy? He's not from fucking Texas. Texas guy for fun. Yeah, that might be it. Yeah, that might be it. Who are you coming to see today? What was her name? Guess it's Sandy's what I was told. Do you know her text name? Oh. Her uh, name you took chatted with her on the What's internet. Wasn't Sandy? Oh. Now, how did you first meet this uh, Sandy? I thought, it was, I thought it was Sadie. When was this? Last night, I think. Last night? Mm-hmm. How long will have you known? <laughs> Poor me. I'm Jeff. Poor me. Like, shut up. No one feels sorry for you. And, you know, only you feel sorry because you got caught. That's the only reason why you're sorry right now. Come on. Owner, this since last night? How long did you talk to her? I don't know. You don't know? Did you know how old the person was you were coming to visit? I guess not. <laughs> you didn't? I didn't pay attention. You didn't, didn't pay, pay attention. attention. Uh, give me one sec. I'm gonna try to pull up his chat log. Give me one sec. Yeah, okay, so Jeff Stacy's full of shit. It's like we're five lines into this. She says 15. Do you like older guys? Like, no, you obviously fucking knew. Obviously fucking knew. I mean, come on, how do you not know? Look at that. That's a short chat log. Jeff Stacy must have been so desperate. That is a short chat log. I never actually realized how short it was. I've read the whole thing, I'm pretty sure, but I just didn't realize it was that short. All right, let's continue. So you have no idea how old she is? I thought she was 18. 18? You thought she was 18? Mm-hmm. Why would you think that? Because it's convenient? Because it's convenient for you to say, oh, I think she, I thought she was 18? That's the only reason why you think it. No, how do you, I don't know. You get 15 and 18 mixed up somehow. I don't know how you quite do that. It's like that accountant dude from um, Handsome vs. Predators, Charles, Charles Lawrence. He said the same thing, right? Oh, I can't even read that. I thought it said, I thought it was 31. <laughs> but it was one of, he got his numbers mixed up. Fucking dyslexic and blind guy. He can't even fucking, anyway, he's an accountant. Okay. Sadie the Smarty ring It was Sadie. I guess. Yeah? I guess. You, you chatted with her last night. Jeff Stacy's probably that guy who just answers everything as generic. I Because I kind of do the same thing when I'm not... <laughs> Believe it or not, I don't actually like to talk. <laughs> but when I talk about TCAP, I can go all fucking day. But... When it comes to other things in life, I don't like to talk at all. I just give as generic answers, one-liner as I can. So which I imagine Jeff Stacy is a lot like that because first of all, his voice is ridiculous. <laughs> it's number one. So he's like, I can't, I can't use this thing very often. Um, number. So that, that's why his first use. But then he's just so. He was definitely uh, uh, socially awkward. Definitely. He's probably depressed also. He doesn't talk very much so anyway. So I feel like, you know, this is the only way Jeff communicates is either through chatting online or just these generic, I guess, statements, you know. 
He doesn't. He doesn't fucking give you much. You have to. You have to like ask him twenty questions to get a simple answer, <laughs> which I respect. I do that all the time too. Because if it's if it's not important, you don't need to know. That's my thing. Up at like twelve a.m. in the morning. Something like that. Okay. Do you remember reading this? Because he typed it to you. No, I don't read those. You don't read those. That's your chat. <laughs> yeah, but I don't read. You don't read? <laughs> no, I don't read that part. It doesn't matter. It's just. <laughs> so I absolutely love that. You don't read, <laughs> like because it makes sense. Oh, that's a good excuse. Yeah, I'm I'm an illiterate. So I was just typing. I was I was I was just typing. I didn't actually read what they were saying. I only I don't know how to read. That's a good excuse. That is a fucking good excuse. I actually love that one. Oh man, but yeah, I mean it wouldn't surprise me if Jeff Stacy didn't know how to read. <laughs> it's talking. It's just talking. So when you it's told talking. her when she told you she was fifteen, you just Ignore it. It's just talking. It's just talking. You understand what kind of trouble you're in here tonight? Yes. What? Tell me what kind of trouble you're in. Probably jail. Probably jail. You no. Know, what? What did you do wrong? And Jeff Stacy's like shaking. Um, this is an obscure reference, but I'm gonna say it. Lawrence Taylor. I remember as a child seeing Lawrence Taylor, the uh, former Hall of the, the Hall of Fame pass rusher. I remember when he was seeing him in court. Uh, this was probably ten years ago at this point, maybe. He went, got into some trouble with some prosti prostitutes, and I remember seeing him in the courtroom with his hands uh, hands tied, and he was doing the same thing that Jeff Stacy's doing, rocking back and forth. Yeah, I remember. I remember that for whatever reason so well. And Jeff Stacy's kind of doing the same thing right here. It's pretty interesting, you know, um, how how different people react showed up to solicit a minor. For what? I guess sex. Sex. <laughs> so right there, Jeff Stacy gets, the, that's the confession right there. You can drop the pen, you can drop, <laughs> drop close the book, you don't have to do anything else at this point. But Jeff Stacy's not really confessing there, I will say. He's saying, what did you get picked up for tonight? What did you get arrested for? Well, I sh they're telling me that I showed up to solicit a minor for sex, but here's why it wasn't that. That's what Jeff Stacy's going to do, but in the, the, this... The cops believe that that's a confession right there, but I don't think it is. Um, in the simplest terms, it could be considered a confession. What did you, what did you do wrong, was the question. He said, I showed up to solicit a minor for sex. So it could be considered a confession, uh, but I don't think it is. I, I don't consider it. What, what was you? What was your plans tonight when you, when you arrived with this 15-year-old girl? Just to talk. Well, that's not what the, your, your log reflects. I know, but it's an internet. I just say whatever comes to mind on the internet. You say whatever comes to mind. Yeah. So, would you like to <laughs> me off? Just came to your mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You say it to everyone mm -hmm. you chat with, mm -hmm. men and women, mm -hmm. adults. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's, a, that's again, I think that's a pretty good defense by Jeff Stacy. I say that to everyone. <laughs> I fucking love that. I love that. But yeah, it's true. The internet back then was still really the Wild West. I mean, there was hardly any regulation like there is today. Like, if YouTube was... This is, what, 2005, 2006? YouTube was just getting off the ground at that point. Uh, it wasn't anything like what it was today. There was no moderation or anything back then. You could do whatever the fuck you wanted. Um, same thing with chat rooms. Same thing with MySpace. None of that shit was regulated like Facebook or Twitter is today. You know, you could do whatever the hell you wanted. So, people were a little bit ignorant <laughs> back then of, oh shit, well, well, it's because it's on the internet. I can't get in trouble for it. But yeah, you can. And uh, Jeff Stacy's finding that out right now. Uh, the computer you used uh, for uh, this chat, where is it? My parents' house. Okay. 
Yeah, so he's, what, 27, still living at home. I mean, that's not normal unless you are have something mentally wrong with you, which I believe, which, I mean, he does, so explains that. Uh, did you call her on the phone tonight? No. Did she call you? No. How did you know where, how to get there? She gave it to me over the internet. Over the internet? You never called her on the phone? No. Do you have a cell phone? No. No cell phone. <laughs> and he like glares back at them right there like, oh, they probably don't believe me, but it's the truth. I wish I was dead. I wish I was dead. So you had no intention of having sex with this girl? I'm going in now. Is that what you're saying? No. I'm going in now, Kevin. But you just, you just said you came to that house to solicit the 15-year-old for sex, did you not? Did you just say that? That's what they told me I was doing when I walked I asked in. you what you were doing at the house. I was just coming to meet and what happens, happens. That's the way I look at it. Okay, so there was a possibility that could have happened. Could have. <laughs> if the opportunity would have arose, she would have been there. Shut up. No one else Don't had been home. That could have happened then. Yeah, someone could have been home too. Okay. Jeff, don't say that, Jeff. It's the same thing. You're just completely screwing yourself. It could have. Oh, well, it could have happened. Don't say that, man. You know, Jeff Stacy, um, it's interesting. I wonder what his upbringing was like. He was, I, I imagine, I well, I, I know, actually, that he had a pretty normal family. His father was in the military. Um, he had a sister, I, he has a sister, I believe. I wonder what his upbringing was like, though, because it was like the 80s. He's born in 78, he said, so uh, he was grew up in the 80s, you know, booming economy, everything like that. But although he's in the Rust Belt, you know, Cincinnati, Ohio, I don't know maybe what their financials were like. But, you know, it's it's but it is interesting. You know, again, Jeff Stacy is an intriguing character here because I, I want to know what his upbringing was like. Uh, that's just that's just something I'm, I'm a little bit fascinated by. Because, you know, it was a different time back then, obviously. I would never grew up. I never lived during that, that era. But, you know, you see, you know, when you watch 80s movies, 90s movies, you see what, you know, kids did back then. And um, I don't think Jeff Stacy was, was one of those, you know, typical typical kids. So what was he doing? Like, was he sitting in his room playing with, like, an ant farm <laughs> or something? I, I don't fucking know. I, I want to know. That's what I'm saying. Give me a time machine. Give me a time machine. I'm going back to all these predators' lives. I'm fuck everything else. I'm not going back to see the pyramids being built. I'm not going back to see you know the the I don't fucking know some some other historical event. I'm not going back to see that. I'm going back to see this shit because <laughs> it's fascinating to me. Uh, maybe I'm the only one. I don't know. Somebody, you someone, gave, someone gave me shit in the lore and commentary for saying that. Like fuck, fuck you. It's my time machine. I'm gonna do what I want. With Pictures it. to her. Yes. I built it. I built it. <laughs> I'm gonna do what I want with it, though. I'm not gonna build one. Are you nuts? Are those pictures of you? No. No. Did you say? Did she believe uh, when you sent them? Did you represent them to be you? Yes. And then he sent himself a, his. Own, he sent him a picture of him. Sent her a picture of himself at the end, because he's like, oh shit, I can't show up. I can't show up like that. Are you kidding? Because, um, yeah, I can't show up and appear, give off the appearance of a bodybuilder or something and show up looking like this. <laughs> so he sent a picture of himself at the end. Why did you send a picture of someone else like that? Just fun and games. Because it's just fun and games. It's fun and games. I guess I did something wrong. What is it you did wrong? I guess I should have to talk to a minor. Okay. Your uh, your transcript of your uh, chat log indicates uh, you asked a lot of sexual questions and stuff like that. Okay. You agree with that? Yes. It's okay. the internet. That's what everybody does on the internet. Also, in the in the transcript, she shows or tells you she's fifteen. And then you say, do you like older guys? So you had to read that she was 15 to type to her 
Oh, do you like older guys? Is that true? Would you say that was true? I guess so. <laughs> so he's lying. He's just basically admitting that he's a liar. And then, uh... <laughs> Jeff completely you screwed see? himself. This is one of the most open and shut interrogations ever. Like, this is... When did this start at? Like, the beginning of this is the actual... Uh, thing right here. You, get, you see him get arrested. He gets into the interrogation room at around 13 minutes in. Less than 10 minutes later, you can just shut the whole thing down. That's fucking open and shut, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Like to get me naked. Do you remember typing that? Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to get me naked? There's a question. Just normal things. And then she says to you, "You mean for real?" And you can go, "Yeah, it could be fun." You remember typing that? Yeah. Then you say to her, would you ride? Or <laughs> you remember typing that. Yeah. But it's a question. It's just a question. What's wrong with asking questions? Okay. Anything else? No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Even, even the, 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 they're shutting it down now. Huh? You have anything else you want to say? Eh. Nah, I'm good. Any questions for, uh, for us, Jeff? Oh, this is a great. This is where the meltdown complete. If he wasn't melting down before, now he's gonna melt down. And this is where the that this kind of whole thing wasn't really that funny, uh, save for a few other parts. But this is where it gets really good right here. So here we go. This is he's gonna melt down the biggest dramatic head drop that you'll ever see on this show. What's gonna happen to me? You're gonna be taken to Dark County Jail. <laughs> God, You're going to be uh, charged with attempted, uh, attempted and awful sexual conduct with a minor, okay? It's a felony crime. <laughs> so that just completely broke Jeff Stacy's heart right there. He knew that he was going to go to jail, but now getting that confirmation, oh, I committed a felony too. Jeff Stacy is not someone who's ever been in trouble in his life. And now he's... He, he, was in control, at least he had some semblance of control over his life throughout the entire thing. His entire life, he had some sort of control over it. Now, though, he doesn't have any control over a situation, and he is just going to melt down right here. Tip goes into typical emo MySpace mode, all in one right here. You want a snapshot of what MySpace was? Here you go, this is it right here. Please don't, I'm sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> Fake crying. I think that's fake crying. I'm not a child molester. Well, evidently uh, you were going to molest a oh, child because the, uh, everything indicates that. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> the, the cop doesn't even give a shit. He's just like, well, apparently you were gonna. Uh, evidently you were gonna molest a child because everything here points to it. <laughs> just completely wrecked. Get fucking wrecked, man. She said she was 15, and you knew she was 15. You went to the house to solicit sex with a 15-year-old, did you I know? did not know. Right here it is. You had to know. Oh, I don't pay attention. That doesn't get it, okay? I really that didn't know that she was 15. That wasn't, that wasn't <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, Jeff Stacy was very quiet, very... Not giving them anything, and now he is just going to throw everything at the wall. Hope something sticks, but it's like this is all, this is all for naught right here, Jeff. If you would have just shut up during this, you didn't make a complete fool of yourself. This never would have resurfaced on the internet. No one would even have cared about this, but you just made yourself into a fucking quote-unquote internet celebrity right here because you just you just had to have a fucking meltdown. I'm sorry, I didn't I'm sorry. Now, what's your home phone number, Jim? 932. <laughs> 3657. Yeah. I'm just going to kill myself. Call Jeff Stacy. We can work this out, all right? No, I really am just going to slip my fing throat. <laughs> Relax, all right? No, I'm just going to kill myself. Put me in jail and I'll hang myself. I don't care. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't be laughing over someone commi uh, with suicidal thoughts, but it's Jeff Stacy. I don't think he was going to do anything. You know, he, he's definitely is the type of guy. I mean, he finds out he's going to jail, and his first reaction is, I'm going to kill myself. Like, come on. I mean, you got to have, you know, 
it just it, it doesn't seem like this it seems like more like a cry for help than anything he is just trying to get himself out of the situation in any way possible and for him right now the la he tried the i really didn't know excuses you know he did all that i don't pay attention he tried all of those excuses now the only thing he has left in his bag of tricks is i'm gonna kill myself i'm gonna hang myself watch myself dog. Okay. Go ahead, take this Go ahead, take this picture. Stand up against the wall, dude. He still has his coat on. Must be. I wonder how warm it was in that. It must have been hot in that interrogation room. It was probably sweating. After the area, I'm going to kill myself. Good. Let me take his picture. Jeff, what's your area code? What's your area code? And the cops don't care, and I think the cops, the cops hear everything. They probably hear that very, like at least a couple times a week, right? Um, so they probably hear that a lot, so I don't think that's, I think that's why they're just ignoring that, but it's pretty funny, he just goes, oh, I'm gonna kill myself, and he just goes, what's your area code? <laughs> I'm gonna shoot myself. I don't think he's gonna have that yet. You ever been arrested before, Jack? No. For anything? No. Been in any other trouble? No. No? I didn't know. Okay. I didn't know. Now I did something horrible, and I'm just gonna kill myself. Well, you don't want to do that. Yes, I am. Seems I'm going to jail. I'm going to kill myself. Split my heart. No, he's a fucking idiot. Because if he was actually going to do that, he wouldn't have said it. Is that I imagine he was probably thrown. Oh well, I don't know. This is some hick town. They probably don't have suicide watch, maybe. But and that's what I'm saying. If you say that in front of the cops, in most places, you're just going to be thrown into suicide watch, which is probably the most miserable fucking thing you can be a part of in jail. So, I don't know why the hell he's saying that. If, because if you were actually suicidal, you wouldn't be saying that. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Again, I think it's just a cry for help. Yeah, I don't care because I'll die before it hits the air. I don't even care anymore. I did something so wrong that I don't even want to be alive. Do you have time of arrest anywhere? No. I'm gonna kill myself. Huh? Kill myself. Huh? Yes, I am. Yes, I will. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna kill myself. I'm gonna kill myself and watch myself die. Cause you know what? It's not worth it. I'm gonna kill myself. Stop saying it already. Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's like he's just trying to get, there you go, you can see the cum stains right there. But yeah, he's just saying that, trying to just to get out of anything. Just to try to get out of it in any way possible. I know I've said that already, but come on, he keeps saying it. Come on. That's all I have. That's all I need. That's all I want. All I want. There you go. MySpace. That's like what every the typical MySpace uh, shit back in the day. <laughs> I wonder if, if he did he just come up with that on the spot or is that something that he had brewing in his mind <laughs> the entire time? Like he said it before or something like that. I'm gonna kill myself. I'm gonna put a bullet right in my head. Thanks. Put a bullet right in my head. Again, why? You got so many keys? What's it matter? I'm gonna be dead by tomorrow. <laughs> so the cop asked sure him, why does he have so many keys? And he does, he has a shitload of keys. I think you'll see it. I think they do show a shot of it. And Jeff Stacy, instead of just being like, what I would have said was, it's none of your fucking business. And Jeff Stacy just goes, what's the matter? I'm gonna be dead anyway. <laughs> like, well, it doesn't matter why he has so many keys. It doesn't matter. Shut the fuck up, cops. If I want to collect keys, I'll collect fucking keys. What are you going to do about it? Yeah, they, look at all those fucking keys. You think, you know, he was, a, he was working at a deli. Do you think he had just so many responsibilities, so many doors to unlock, that he had to have all those keys? Maybe. What is it? Hang myself something. Die. It's, yeah, coming. it's coming, by the way. It is coming. 
This will just be put in all your personal property at the jail. Okay? We're not going to keep any of this. I don't even want it. I'm going to be dead. For evidence. I'm going to be dead. I don't even care anymore. Life's not worth it. What I did was horrible. No. He only thinks that now because he got caught. What I did was horrible. You only saying that because you got caught there, buddy. And I just want to die. Just want to die. What is the day of working in? Three eight seven nine. We will. We will. We will. <laughs> Oh, you can see the picture right there. It's the picture that he sent. I want to see the other ones. That's the actual picture. I want to see the fake ones that he sent. I don't think those have been um, seen anywhere. I want to see what they looked like, though. I don't know the year and stuff. Vehicle. Vehicle. I love that. Vehicle. Okay. Didn't sign it. Right, well, we haven't asked him about it yet. Okay. Uh, Jeff, do you mind? Would you uh, allow us to search your vehicle? Give what? us permission just to see what's in it. I guess. You will? Okay, I think you want to sign it. Let me just put a bullet in my head. You right handed or you left handed, Jeff? Right. I'm going to take our right hand cup off. Can you kill me? No, I can't do that. <laughs> right handed in your car, do you want to tell us in there before it hurts there's nothing in there. Nothing in there. Is that your car or your yes. mom and dad's car? I think it's mine now. It's yours? Any alcohol? No. Drug? No. It's like Jeff Cece keeps getting annoyed that he's being asked that question. But, I mean, I mean, they have to ask it, but Jeff Cece's like, No, I've already said I don't have drugs in the car. He said that at the house, too. Check my car. I, yeah, check my car. There's no alcohol in my car. Any personal belongings? Lots of that. <laughs> Lots of that. <laughs> That's such a stupid question. Any personal belongings? Uh, well, obviously, somebody's gonna. Everybody has personal shit in their car. <laughs> what a stupid question. He, like, Jeff Stacy's even like take it back. Like he just snap out of his uh, suicidal tendencies mode right there. And is it like what? Is that an actual question? Robert Green Van Tor. No. And I think here it comes. Behave, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's watching again. <laughs> oh my god. Do you think that would actually have done the trick? Right? It could not have done the trick. Oh my god. He would have just all he would have done was just started bleeding a little bit, you know. And he would have gotten a police escort, which would have been pretty badass, um, to the hospital, which would have been pretty badass. It's like that guy, the Asian dude, uh, from New Jersey who banged his head into the wall, <laughs> and then he went to the hospital, tried to milk it as much as he could, but then they're like, ah, yeah, he was released with no injuries. Just kill me. <laughs> I just want to die. Why'd you change them? Huh? Why'd you change the way they're on? Cause you wasn't, uh... He was acting up. He was acting up. I just put them on as quick as I could. Let's go. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> Jeff Stacy's like, why would you change the way that they were on? Like, dude, they were just trying to get you back cause you were fucking flipping out. <laughs> you lost your privilege to have them any kind of comfort when you fucking went and tried to stab yourself with a pen, you dumbass. Oh my god, I wondered what his time in jail was like. It was, he was probably rough. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, sir, yeah. Car and Yeah. those jeans that he's wearing, those are not very flattering. 
Four. Watch this. Listen to this right here. When he gets into the car, he's gonna go. Yeah. I'm gonna die. So I Watch can. your head. Yeah. All right. So that's basically it for Jeff Stacy. You can watch the rest of this if you want to. Uh, you can see the booking process. Uh, where he gets his, you know, he puts it. Alright, one thing I want to see right here, just because this is pretty funny. They go up here into this room, and the first thing they do is put their head on this disgusting pad right here. <laughs> With all of this thing, it must be disgusting and very sweaty. And all the other predators' heads went onto this thing. So that would have been pretty funny. Fucking hell, my phone's ringing. Alright. So right, right here, he puts his head on this disgusting pad that all the Predators' heads were on. Fucking Ken Brinkman, Alonzo Hampton, Wade, fucking all these disgusting people from Hicksville, Ohio, <laughs> put their heads on this. Boop. <laughs> oh, it's so disgusting. As a germaphobe, that is probably the most disgusting part about this, because that is fucking disgusting. But yeah, I mean, you can watch the rest of this if you want to. The booking agent right here is apparently... Some people think that she's hot. I can't really even get a good look at her. But, um, yeah, I mean, some people say that she's hot. I don't know, though. Man, remember that fucking background, Windows XP? Holy shit. Look at how horrible this computer is, man. I mean, this is... I don't know if this was how, how high-tech this was back in the day, but... Just nowadays. I mean, you remember. I get, you know, I remember it looking like that. I mean, that, that was, those were some rough days. In terms of computer power. But yeah, some people think that this girl's hot, I think, but I don't I don't know, I can't even really tell. Um But yeah, I mean you can watch the whole thing if you want to. Jeff Stacy's just giving personal information here. I think his mugshot, fingerprints, stuff like that. Um yeah, that's pretty much it though. That's Jeff Stacy. We did it, his interrogation. Alright, so that's going to do it. Um yeah, uh, gonna probably do Ken Brinkman at some point, some other Predators also, some interesting shit. But uh, until, and I'll do it for this one, so until next time, I'll see you guys later.